Master. I can't defeat him. He's... He's too powerful. It must be true. You must face yourself. What, what is... What does that mean? It's all right. Uh, ah! Who... Who are you? You... Are we. Huh? What, 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 what does that mean? It means... Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Chris Kozak and this is an English unit on duality. Now, you probably have several questions like, what does that word even mean? Are you even qualified to teach this and why on earth would you do this? So this video is an introduction video that should hopefully answer some of those questions. So I am a high school English teacher. I usually teach English 10 through 12, but I've been known to dabble in other subjects like Spanish. And this is a unit that I never actually got to teach one of my classes. So I decided I would do something different with it instead. What I'm going to do with it is turn it into a multi-part YouTube series, and I'll explain exactly how that's going to work in just a second. First, I want to talk about why on earth someone might want to actually watch this video series. So there's a lot of students and parents out there who are looking for English content like this for a variety of reasons. Maybe you're a homeschool student and you need something to study or look at. Maybe you're taking a correspondence English course and you don't really know what to study, or maybe they've given you some things to study, but you don't like them. Maybe your English teacher gave you a project and you have free with it and you don't really know what you're going to do. Maybe your English teacher isn't that great and you just want something better. Hopefully this video series can provide that. And I don't know, maybe you just stumbled in here off of the internet. Any of those things are possible. Anyway, this video series is not designed specifically to be informative. It's not going to be just content or information. So if you watch channels, for example, like Crash Course, it's a whole lot of information, but nothing else. What I've done is I've taken an entire English unit, which in my class would span probably roughly a month, maybe even a little bit more, and I've turned it into a YouTube series. That includes not just the content and the information, but it also includes the assignments, the essays, the movies that you would watch, the discussion questions that you would ask, additional videos for you to watch, tons of stuff. So it's not just content and information, it's actually a huge amount of stuff. Basically, this video series is going to have everything you would ever need to learn about this topic, write about it, think about it, discuss it, and even teach it. So whatever your reasons are for watching this video series, I hope you enjoy it and I hope that it provides some value to you. Now, as for the topic itself, you may not have actually ever heard this word before especially if you're in high school. The simplest definition of duality that I can give you is that it's something with the quality or attribute of being two. So if you don't remember anything else, just remember that duality is like two. So for example, two sides of a coin, opposites, night and day, life and death, yin and yang. These are all opposites. They are all examples of duality. This unit is going to focus on, well, it's going to talk about a bunch of different things regarding duality, but it's going to focus very specifically on the duality of human nature. So for example, good versus evil. Think of like Gollum in this clip here. They will cheat you, hurt you, lie. Master's my friend. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Not listening. I'm not listening. Or think of the Incredible Hulk, like in this clip. He has two distinct personalities in a single person, and those aren't just random personalities. There's a dark version and a light version. The light version is Bruce Banner, the dark version is Hulk, but they are both the same person. It's just those attributes are coming out. The dark attributes of Bruce Banner are amplified by the Hulk, and the good attributes of Bruce Banner are amplified by, well, Bruce Banner. You have one dark, one light, a duality inside the same person, whether it be Gollum, whether it be the Hulk, there's dozens of examples. Now, you might think this is kind of a strange theme to do a unit on, but actually the idea of duality has been discussed by tons of different authors and writers and philosophers and thinkers, myths and societies, basically as far back as time is recorded. 
You can see it in films like The Dark Knight, for example. The primary theme of The Dark Knight is duality. Harvey Dent is literally called the White Knight in the film, and the film is called The Dark Knight. That's a duality, and they both embody different types of things. Batman represents extreme order, and the Joker represents extreme chaos. So you see there's lots of examples of duality just in that film alone. The novel study that we'll be looking at in this unit is The Curious Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. If you don't know anything about that, imagine it kind of like the Hulk. So this is going to be an in-depth exploration of the topic of duality. So this unit has two primary purposes. Number one is to help you guys, specifically students, explore the duality within yourself. Because I believe, and most philosophers believe, and certainly all religions believe, that humans are two. In fact, the author of the book that we're going to read in this unit once said, man is not truly one, but truly two. I want to help you guys explore your own duality. Hopefully this unit is designed for you to explore yourself, not just the concept of duality in like books, but in your own personal life as well. The other goal of this unit is for you guys to have a deeper understanding of how different societies, groups, thinkers, philosophers, writers, artists, whatever, have understood the topic of duality throughout history and in modern thought as well. This unit is also going to explore kind of some philosophical questions like, for example, how do good people do such evil things like in Nazi Germany or the Soviet Union, for example? Do you really think that every single person living in those countries was a horrible, evil human being? But a lot of them did really terrible things. Most of them said that it was because they were ordered to. Does that mean they're evil? Maybe. But maybe there's more to it than that. What about human nature? Are humans intrinsically good or are they intrinsically evil? When a baby is born, is it evil? Is it good and then it grows up to be evil? So these are philosophical questions that this unit might not answer, but at least will shed some light on and you guys can come up with your own conclusion. My job as a teacher is not to give you answers, but to help you discover answers for yourself. If I fail to do that in this unit, make sure you let me know so I can do it better the next time. So if you're ready to go, go ahead and click on the first video. It should appear here, over here, probably over here somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, click on it. So once again, I'm Chris Kozak, and this is my unit on 